Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I brought something exciting for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can think or tackle or solve any programming challenge. And this is the very, very strong problem in, in the mind of beginners. And the thing that they are not able to solve the problem and they have they have started they have started data structures and algorithms but they're not but they're not able to solve the programming question or they have started some of the concept and they are not able to solve an in programming question or maybe the ai questions and for that i have brought this video i was in the same situation if you if you aren't in the same situation then this video is for you or if you want to improve your critical thinking power this video is for you as let's let's start with me when i when i started i was kind of not able to solve any programming question even it's a beginning question because um, i have i have learned data structures and algorithms but when i solve problem i was not able to solve the problem the only thing because i will tell you in just a second and then what i I've, then i done done some analysis and at the instance, I, I was solving, I had taken some question and I was solving something like that. So what it does, and what I done is taking a pen and a paper and started thinking about the question. And after I started thinking about a question, I made a kind of an approach for solving a particular problem. And from there, and from there, I understand that what actually it makes to be a programmer. The programmer is the one who who is a critical thinker, who is a big critical thinker in the mind. He made approach, even his it is a silly approach, but it's an approach for solving a problem, for stepping into a problem. So the first step to you that I'm going to give it to you for solving a particular problem: take a pen take up take a paper a paper and then kind of paper and whatever the question is try to understand if you're not able to understand english then you go on google translate translate the question into hindi okay do that because when i started i used to do the same and after that try to understand the fully understand the problem and try to explain the problem what you have understood after understanding your problem try to take a pen and a paper after doing that write whatever comes on your mind let's say let's end and any problem into that paper and I start writing your approach how do you show don't worry what do you how do you solve using Python or C++ or whatever how do you solve this problem even if you if you if you if don't don't mind anything just take a pen and a paper and start writing your approach so let's say for a simple sim, sim, simpler problem take out the factorial of a number so this is a very simple problem on recursion so how do you solve a particular problem this is some something like that you do the sum of the previous two of the factorial number it means factorial of n minus 1 plus factorial of n minus 2 so just try to write the approach. Don't worry what you want to gonna to write in Python, C++, Java. Just try to approach in the paper how do you proceed. And after that, after I'm assuring that if you go, if you go proceed after thinking critically, then I'm assuring that you will be able to solve that problem. If not, please comment in that or dislike this video. I'm assuring you because I've seen this practically that how I started solving even the hardest problem that I was not able to do with a beginner problem. And what I done, what I done is taken a paper and a pen and I started writing the question and not the code question. I started writing the approach. I didn't take a look at what the code is. What, how do you write? Don't, don't worry about the code. Start writing your approach in the paper. After writing approach in the paper, you will understand that after getting three to four steps, your mind has started working instantly. And if you, and also think critically, okay? I will tell you, I will come to the point how to think at that point, okay? And start writing approach. And after that, I'm assuring you will be able to solve any problem, okay? The next step that I'm going to give it to you is how can you think critically um, many other problem but you but you may now but now you have uh, okay that that I will do but how do you think critically for thinking critically I have one thing for you 
is that do debates. Yeah, you heard in my, you heard me right. You have to do the debates and you may think, hey Ayush, what does it relate to? That critical thinking power or a deb kind of a debating. There are only two person, uh, for listening an example, there were two person who are debating with each other. So they will be debating in such a way that he, if he wants to win, he should listen the person carefully to answer or to to put his point. So try to take any any, any of the uh, your friend and try to debate on a particular topic, even if it's under the ban of the programming. Take any and start debating with them. And after you start debating, you will be confident. You think critically at that point. What should be the way? What should be the way? And that that will increase your critical thinking. And I'm just practicing it out. I found a good tool for you to increase your programming skills. And after this, if you're a beginner, you, but this will solve your problem. But one thing that I want you to solve in yourself is. Don't think the question is hard. Don't even take a look at the hard pack. Although you will take a look, but don't even think that it's a hard. Just follow that road. Don't trust yourself that you can do. Trust will make you to solve the problem. And if you think that the question is not able to, I'm not able to understand, then you will leave that question. No, you don't have to leave the question. You don't have to spend around two to three hours onto that. You have to think critically into the problem and then you will be able to solve the particular problem. I'm assuring. Just think about the problem and after writing code or if you if you have seen someone's solution, it's okay you have seen someone's solution. What, what I recommend after seeing a solution to, to do the dry run of your code. And you may think, hey Ayush, what is, what is dry run? Dry run is after you have written the code, after you have written the code, then only one thing that you have to follow is take some and take some example and try to run step by step. So let's say that you are taking on the factorial of a number. So you have written some recursion steps. So you do the dry run, maybe for a small example, to understand the code, how it is working. And dry run is one of the best steps that I'm going to give you to you if you have solved your problem. Okay. So that's all for me and the tip number one is to take a pen and a paper and do not write, do not think about the code that you're going to write. Do you think about how do you able to solve this problem and how you approach the problem. Second number tip is how do you think critically? For thinking critically, you have to do debates that I do a lot. You can ask my friends. And uh, I do a lot of debates. And then and the third tip that I'm going to give it to you is to do the dry run after seeing someone's solution. It's okay to see someone's solution, but not every time. Okay, it has some condition. But only take a look at a solution after some time. Uh, you, have approach, you have made your own approach. Okay, you can use any kind of algorithm. All the, okay, you had just just use them, but you should have your own solution. But if you, if you are not able to write the code, don't worry. See the solution at that point after writing the approach. How do you approach this problem? If the it's 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 not the way that oh your and him whatever the solution make make our approach will will match. But try to optimize the code obviously. But for, for increasing your computational power and solving a particular problem, I would recommend these tips. Three tips, okay? So thank you for seeing this video. I'll be catching up in the next video. I hope that you like this video. Please comment it down below what you like and please uh, give me an, another video what you want. The options are how do I remember these things and the second option are maybe and then anything you want, okay? I'll be catching on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.